Hello everybody, my name is Luke Ridley and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can bounce your Logic project uh, into a format that is uh, good to burn onto a CD. It's very rare these days that you get clients that want to burn their projects to CD. Yeah, it's very, very rare these days, but I thought I'd make a video um, that if you ever wanted to do it, you can, yeah, you can know how to do it. So you essentially just do everything you would when you bounce an ordinary project as a WAV file. So for me, Command B brings you up the bounce tab. Um, we want to keep the destination to PCM um, and essentially all this stays the same. Uh, you want to keep normalize off. Um, some say have it on. Well, usually you've got a limiter or a maximizer at the end of your chain and it's usually set to, I don't know, you know, very, very loud. So I just keep normalize off. Um, your format file you want to keep as a WAV file. Uh, now, bit depth, usually I, well, I assume you guys as well, record your tracks at 24 bit. When you are burning to a CD, we want to change this to a 16 bit depth file. Um, as well as if you're recording at 48 or higher, you want to bring it down to 44.1. Um, keep the file type the same. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You need to dither when you're burning to a CD. So essentially what dithering does is it helps keep the sonic integrity of your, your track pure when you are downgrading your bit depth. Um, so essentially it gives it a bit more dynamic range and clarity in the upper frequencies when you are yeah, lowering the bit depth. Um, that's the most basic way that I understand it. I don't know any more detail, um, but essentially that's what dithering does. So when you click on dithering, you have a few options. I've since learnt and discovered that this particular one here, UV22HR, is a specific algorithm for when you are downgrading from 24-bit to 16-bit files. So since we're doing that, we want to turn that on here. So I recorded this project at 24-bit. We are now burning it or um, bouncing it to a 16-bit file, therefore we need to dither. And this particular one um, is suited best for CD. So, with that being said, these are your settings and it's just as simple as pressing OK and done, burning. So now I will um, send these files to the client and she can then burn it onto um, the CD. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, this, that's pretty much how you do it. It's a very, very niche video, but I thought if there's anybody out there that needs to know how to do this, this is the video for you. Anyway, guys, take care and I will see you guys all in the next one. See ya.